just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like gotta made it Gotta made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven Right and graven Keep it clean freelancer in the building man I, I needed a break because it's like today started off like a little bit slow and then one guy got signed and another guy got signed and everything just started happening back to 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 back that's why y'all saw so many videos but i appreciate y'all watching i appreciate y'all checking them out i love y'all now um lamar jackson of course everybody's just waiting everybody's wondering what's gonna happen now since it, we are about uh an hour and a half in it's 5 29 as i'm recording this video uh you'll see it a bit later but um we're just waiting to see what's next uh i know a lot of people right now are feeling like the colts that they could end up possibly making a move for lamar jackson or signing him to an offer sheet since the colts they officially released Matt Ryan. They got rid of Stephon Gilmore. They've been uh, clearing out some cap space. And they have a first-round pick this year. Is it pick number four? Don't quote me on that, but I don't remember what pick it is. But they got a good pick because it's a high pick. Uh, and then, of course, it will be a first-round pick next year as well. Um, but that's what a lot of people are thinking right now, that the Colts could be a team because you know Jim Ursay, he, uh, he, he liable to do something crazy. Um, and... I don't know, man. So, I again, we'll see. We won't know anything until we know anything. So, that's the that remains the same. But this report, and boy, this report kind of like was like, ooh, it just gave you a uh, gave you a view of a possibility of the future. Just a possibility. Um, now. This was from Jeremy Fowler. He said the Ravens, who face uncertainty around Lamar Jackson's future, have been involved in the free agent quarterback market, looking into options such as Baker Mayfield and Jacoby Brissett before they signed with Tampa uh, and Washington per league sources. Baltimore appears to be looking for flexibility. Now, saying that we always talk about stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And the Ravens, so many people have been led to believe, of course, by all the reports that have continued to come out. Um, once Lamar was placed on a non-exclusive tag, so many people have been led to believe that, hey, whatever somebody offers, the Ravens are going to match it. Whatever somebody offers to Lamar, whatever offer sheet they sign Lamar Jackson to, the Ravens are for sure going to match it. But this report would lead me to believe... Otherwise, not entirely, but again, the poss it's a possibility. Everything's possible right now. Nothing is set in stone, especially Gino, because it came out that they weren't going to offer him a, a tender. They didn't, they didn't tender him. Um, so now he's a free agent, but I, I do think there's still hope that the Ravens could like sign him to a deal because uh, he ain't signed with nobody else. Shout out to Deshaun Elliott, who's signing with the Dolphins, by the way. Um, so that should be fun to watch him there uh, He's a thumper We already know about Deshaun Elliott His only problem was just health That was his biggest thing Once he started staying healthy Hey, the sky was the limit um, And then he even tweeted He was like, oh, I get to play uh, BMO at the bank too I said, okay, I guess he's feeling some kind of way That they ain't keeping or whatever but Nah, it's all good, man That should be fun When the Dolphins uh, play the Ravens I wish they played him in Miami But anyway Um but yeah, back to the quarterback situation. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Now, Jeff Zrebic, I remember when he posted an article in The Athletic like not a month ago, maybe like three weeks ago or something like that. But he posted an article in The Athletic that talked about this. And we made a video on it highlighting um, his, his part on Baker Mayfield and that the Ravens really liked Baker Mayfield coming out of the draft. Um, and, and Steve Bishotti said even there was one game where Steve Bishotti walked over to Baker Mayfield and gave him a big hug. And I believe that was when the Ravens played the Panthers this past year. Uh, so maybe Steve Bishotti told him, like, hey, Bake, hey, like uh, – Hold it down. Just wait. Just, just, just wait on me this offseason. Just in case stuff goes south with Lamar, just hold out. Hold out. We might have to bring you on. But, of course, Baker Mayfield, he signed with the Bucks, So he's been eliminated from this whole thing. And Jacoby Brissett signed with the Commanders. So he's also eliminated from this whole thing. But um, it, it does show that, again, like the report said, the Ravens are looking for flexibility. So... They they looking for looking at their options and they have to do that. 
They have to do that because they don't know what's going to happen with Lamar. They don't know. They could have every single plan in place. Be like, all right, we're going to do this. If this happens, we're going to do that. If that happens, we're going to do this. But if something happens that you didn't plan on, if, if a whole wrench gets thrown in your plans, everything gets thrown off, you could be, oh, 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 we didn't plan for that. Oh, we didn't see that coming. But so, yeah, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Um, it's, it's scary to think about it. It is really, for me, at least. I know there's some Ravens fans that, oh, yeah, we want Lamar out of here. Been seeing a lot of Ravens fans do that uh, recently. Even like um, my guy, who, who was it? Let me go find it real quick because he asked a question. Uh, oh, my guy, Marcus. Uh, he said, what's with the fans? And he, he said, Engraven, what's, what is up with some of the Ravens fans saying things like, I'm over Lamar, Lamar can kick rocks. I, and I, I think that's just because people are just tired of the whole situation. Um, I've, I've seen some of the biggest Ravens fans and biggest Lamar Jackson fans. Uh, I've, I've seen some of them be like, oh, no, I'm tired of Lamar. I've seen it. And I was, like, one, one shocked me because one, one, one is one of my boys. He's one of my boys. And when he said, he said, look, I, I'm just, I'm tired of Lamar. When I saw that, I said, whoa, buddy. Are we still buddies? But I was just like, woo. Like when I when I saw it from him, I was like, I I, I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, so okay, well, I mean everybody's entitled to their own opinion though. Um but yeah, that's it. People are just tired of how long it's been taking. People are tired of all the different stories and different reports and rumors and just people are wanting a resolution. So um a lot of people are like, all right, whatever's gonna happen, let it happen. Some people just saying, you know what, just to avoid everything moving forward. Some people are like, all right, let's just get rid of Lamar. So it's it is what it is. Um, as far as how people feel, like that's just how some people feel. And then there are a lot of people that feel different ways. Like me, I'm like, okay, well, have a long this thing takes. I'm just I'm, I'm here for the ride. I'm here for the ride. But he he continued. He said, um. Like, have they really forgotten all this man has done to save and salvage this organization? Bad old line play, lack of weapons on the outside, bad play calling on top of being in the system that... Anyway, I, dig I digress. Uh, it seems the fans have forgotten what all he's had to overcome since becoming the starter. I have been amazed at some of the comments from the fans, especially when none of us really know for certain what's truly been offered or what's truly desired from Lamar. I said it perfectly. We don't know. We don't know. We don't truly know. You've seen the most recent report about a deal. Like, you know what's, what's crazy when you think about it? The most recent report that we've seen with all this Raven stuff is about a deal that he was apparently offered, allegedly offered back in September. That's the most recent news that we know. A deal that was offered back in September. Think about that. So, anyway, he said, what are your thoughts on the switch up from the so-called fans? Again, people again, people just tired. That's all I think it is. People just they, just, they just fed up. And they like, they know the Ravens ain't going anywhere. Like, the Ravens can't move. They ain't going to be like, all right, Ravens, go to another city. They can't do that. But so they, the only thing that they know that can possibly move is Lamar Jackson. So a lot of fans are like, all right, Lamar Jackson, go to another city. So that's, that's, that's all I think it is. Just people just frustrated. Um, and it's just, it's been crazy. Um, now, my guy, Oreo Cookie, I guess this turned into an episode of Questions from Subs. But that's what happens around here. You just never know what you're going to get. Just like with the Ravens. They don't know what's going to happen with Lamar. We don't know what's going to happen when we press the record button. Um, going down memory lane, my guy, Oreo, he said, Hey, Engraven, I'm writing this right before 4 p.m. on March 15th. At the moment, we still have Lamar. But I was wondering, when did you fall in love uh, with Lamar as the Ravens quarterback. Mine was week one, 2019, when he threw that long touchdown to Hollywood Brown, and we scored 60 on him. Um, when did I fall in love, <laughs> excuse me, with Lamar Jackson as Ravens QB? Um, well, you know what's crazy? Y'all know that I don't watch college um, at all. But uh, a little bit before the draft, so what, like March, it was either late, no, it was late April 2018. Uh, right before the draft, me and my wife, um, we were in Carter too. 
we were flying up to Chicago because um, her family's from Chicago. We were getting ready to spend some time up there. And we flew JetBlue. And JetBlue, you know, on JetBlue, like, they got the TVs and stuff on the plane and whatnot. So I turned on NFL Network. Like, I'm chilling. Let me watch NFL Network, see what they're talking about. It's before the draft to see if I could see some prospects or something. So they were going through different quarterback prospects and whatnot. And then I saw this one guy from Louisville. Um, his name was Lamar Jackson. And they were showing some highlights and stuff. And I'm like, ooh, okay. All right, hey, I like that. But then what got me? Cause I didn't know. Cause I, again, I ain't know nothing about nothing. Cause I, y'all know I don't watch. I don't watch college. But what got me was when they said, "Oh, he he's from South Florida." I said, oh, oh, get him, buddy! Because and, and I was thinking about the, the 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 previous Ravens, the the legend Ravens, the historic Ravens that are also from down here. Obviously, a Ray Lewis and an Ed Reed. I mean, they were kind of good, weren't they? But when, when he said that, I was like, ooh. And then I saw everything that he was doing. I said, oh, man, bring him on. And I, I just, ever since then, I wanted the Ravens to draft Lamar Jackson. Then the draft happened. Um, I was live streaming it uh, from my wife's father's house in Chicago. Um, and then got to the Ravens pick. They picked Hayden Hurst. I'm like, okay, we did need a tight end. I was cool with it, but... I was a little disappointed because it wasn't Lamar. And then I, I remember when the Saints traded up, I thought the Saints were going to take Lamar Jackson, but they took Marcus Davenport. I remember when the Patriots were on the clock, I thought they may take Lamar Jackson, but I forgot who they took that year. Um, and then my phone started going off while I was live streaming, and it said, oh, the Ravens traded back into the first round. I said, ooh, is this it? And it was. And it was crazy. It was. I, I loved it. I loved it. Um and that w- like that's when I, I started falling in love with the idea of Lamar being a quarterback. But then when he actually became like they actually drafted him, I was like, oh, this is great. And then I guess from on the field, I, I remember going to we went to the Ravens training camp that year. Um, so we got to see them a little up close and personal and whatnot. Uh, but then I remember during a preseason, I think I think it was a preseason game against the Panthers where Lamar threw a touchdown to Hayden Hurst. And I was like, oh, but where where I really just went crazy. Uh, of course, they they had Lamar, and they would um, during the regular season early on. Excuse me, um, they would put him in these different packages and whatnot. Um, but where I was really like going crazy was the game. Ravens lost the game, but it was Lamar's first regular season touchdown, uh, and that was against the Saints, where um, it was on the goal line. And I think he faked it to Was it Alex Collins? Whoever it was He faked it to him Kept it Ran Got a touchdown I was going crazy I was so hyped man I was so hyped Um, And I just uh, From there It was just like Obviously from before there too But That was I was like Oh yeah let's go I was so happy Um, And then That game Like That game hurt my heart so bad Because The the way that the Ravens lost Because the Ravens were down then Joe Flacco, and then they started coming back. And Joe Flacco threw the touchdown to John Brown uh, with, like, no time left. And then all Justin Tucker was going to have to do was kick an extra point. We go to overtime. All right, let's go, baby. Justin Tucker kicks it. The wind blows. And whew, missed it. And, oh, my goodness. I, I just sat there. I sat there on the ground. My wife was watching the game with me. I just sat there on the ground for a while. I was just sitting there just still, not moving, nothing. Just hurt. <laughs> That game hurt me so bad. I don't know why that game out of a lot of games, but that game hurt me so bad. Maybe because it was like Lamar got his first touchdown, so I was so hype off of that. And like, all right, hey, hopefully, hopefully Ravens get the win. And I always wanted them, always want them to win, period. But it just hurt. But yeah, I think that was that was the uh the the process or the cycle. And then um everything just over time, it just continued to build up after that. Um, so yeah, man, it's it's been quite a ride. Um I'm hoping that the ride isn't over. It seems like (laughs) the passenger and the operator of the ride are not on good terms right now, so things are bumpy. But I don't know. We will. uh, We'll see. We will see how things go and how things turn up.
But yeah. And then one last thing, I guess since this again is turning the question from subs, might as well throw this one in there too from my guy Kelvin C. Uh he said Darius Slay to Baltimore. Uh, could it be a possibility if we get Darius Slay in the B more? He's better than Marcus Peters. That's true. I love MP, but Slay with all pro Marlowe would be nasty. A nasty backline. Uh we signed the Eagles DB coach, right? Oh, he would fit right in. That is a great point. Now, um, initially when I first saw it, I'd be like, no, that, that, that definitely ain't happening. But it's the Ravens. You know, Ravens love them some defense. So, like, anything's a possibility with any defensive player because you, you know these Baltimore Ravens. Um, but I, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Now, the longer he's in free agency, it hasn't even been a day yet. He just got released today. But the longer he's out there, the higher the Ravens' chances increase. Um, but uh, I just, I don't, I don't think that they'll do it. Um, I, I just don't think they'll do it unless the, the only way that I could see them doing it. And then it sounds sad. And then I don't want this to happen at all. But the only way I could see them doing it is if they moved off a little more. Yeah, that would be the only way that I see them signing Darius Slay. If Lamar wasn't a Raven anymore, which I hope doesn't happen, but. I don't know. It kind of seems like it's going to happen, but I, I I don't know, man. So, yeah. But, hey, again, we just got to wait this whole thing out and uh, see how things end up, see how things turn up, and <sighs> see whatever's next. So, like we keep saying, we just we won't know until we know. Uh, but until then, we'll continue to uh, try to keep y'all updated, try to keep y'all <laughs> just let y'all know whatever's going on, whether it's with the Ravens or somebody else, but definitely with the Ravens. So I appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. And just like hopefully Lamar won't be when it comes to being a member of the Baltimore Ravens. I'm out. Just what it is.